All right. So some more terminology with fluoro is um, a term called illumination. And there are three types of gains that um, I would like us to know for fluoro. Really, one of the principal advantages of the intensified fluoroscopy is an increase in image brightness, right? Your radiologists are no longer wearing those red goggles <laughs> to dark adapt. Um, so the increased illumination of the image uh, allows for better visual visualization. Sorry, gang, tripping over that word. Um, and then there are three gains that um, are involved with fluoroscopy. One of the first one is called flux gain, and this is a ratio of they take the number of photons at light photons at the output phosphor, and they're going to divide it by the number of input X ray photons that we had at the input phosphor and do a comparison of the two. Minification gain is a ratio of the size of the input phosphor compared to the size of the output phosphor. Well, the output phosphor, spoiler alert, always smaller. Um, so we are gaining <laughs> in um, minification, right? So remember those electrostatic lenses that focus that beam down smaller? If you think of that, we go from a large input down to a smaller output. And then these two calculations will help us find something that's called brightness gain. Brightness gain, we are simply going to multiply um, what we got for minification gain and what we got for flux gain. The total brightness um, that we gain ranges from about 5,000 to 20,000. Um, this will decrease as your tube ages. There are some formulas involved. I think we should know these formulas, but do I think that we are going to need to do this math? I do not. Um, and maybe we will in coming years here, but um, I think we should know what flux gain compares. Um, and this, so this will be light photons to starting um, X-ray photons. Minification gain is about the diameter of input and diameter of output. Brightness gain will be these two things multiplied together. Um, so as far as gains go, that's really all I really want us to know. All right, keep it easy, keep it simple. Uh, I will not be asking you to do this math if you're one of my students.